Hey, what's going on? Coach Luca back here with Coach's Corner, and I'm going to go over two, two different things. I'm going to give you guys a kind of a template for fat loss slash general fitness, uh, but also just talk about templates, right? So if you are a coach, this makes so much sense as far as cutting down time uh, to write programs for people and having a general like kind of base that you work off that just works, okay? So this is very important because I've seen, I've been in the industry for a long time. I was a person from the get-go. Once I started building a client base, like spending hours and hours and hours and hours and hours writing programs um, and then basically getting good at knowing what works and creating templates so that you can use them over and over again, use them fast, still individualize, uh, like I said, and give the best to the clients, but cut down your time and make it smart. So I'm just gonna give you an A and B template. Most people that train here um, at Vigor will usually do about two times a week of, you know, semi-private strength training. And even if they do three times a week at the beginning, because this would be, this, the one that I'm gonna show you today is a beginner one, um, is, you know, we would do A, B, A. I've talked about this before. And then B, A, B, right? So you just alternate these. You'd go A, B, A week one, and then it would be B, A, B, right? So we keep alternating those. We've seen phenomenal results with that. And so that's what I'm gonna show you. But also always bring it back to the fact that you have templates, right? So meaning this would be a phase one, right? So imagine that we're just going through a phase one. But usually, you know, if a beginner would come in, we'd have phase one, two, three, you know, even four already like ready, ready to go. And what I mean by ready to go is, like I said, we have a template for it. You can work fast off of templates while still giving the best results. Now, I'm gonna break down, let's look at like just day eight, okay? And I'll dive a little deeper just into the philosophy of all this. Uh, notice, I always say that we like to do speed and power, so reactive, regardless of who the client is, meaning that we're gonna do something explosive and just adjust to it. You know, three to six sets, five to six reps. Now, if it's a, like I said, if it's foot fire, this might be time. So it might be 10, 15 seconds of high knees or foot fire. It might be slams. Uh, you know, it might be a lot of throws, jumps, things like that. And we'll just adjust for the person. Usually what we do in this area is kind of superset it. Do something upper body power and then do something lower body uh, as well, right? So we're working on different things like elasticity. So it, like I said, it might be things that are more plyometric in nature or like I said, things like power, you know, dead stop, scoop tosses, you know, uh, wall throws from the get go, uh, dumbbell squat jumps with a pause, right? You can do a lot of different things here, but in the template, like I said, we're gonna do about three to six sets of some speed and power stuff with pretty much everybody. And then for most in the beginner phase, we're gonna go into core because we get folks that come in and that's a weakness. So we wanna work the weakness kind of at the beginning of the program. We're only gonna do one or two sets usually. And you can see on a phase one, uh, or should I say day one A, we have anti-extension and then anti-rotation. So here's the thing, like you have, you know, what's the smart thing to do is just to have a list of exercises that you are use the most that are effective and plug them in from the toolbox and adjust them to the person, right? You're not gonna do an advanced core exercise with somebody that's a beginner. So anti-extension might be a plank variation um, and that's gonna work just fine with anti-rotation. It might be something like a pal-off press or it might be something uh, like a side plank uh, as well, right? So we, again, we're just inserting it and, and seeing what the fit is for that client because we still gotta assess them and make sure it's the right thing. From there, we're gonna go and superset. And obviously what's most effective, we gotta look at like how much time do we have in a session? Most of the times we have about an hour for us right here at the gym. Most people like to get things done in an hour as well. So we're gonna go squat symmetrical, meaning bilateral, both legs. What's so great about this that like we can go all through all the whole range of what the squat is gonna be here, right? Double kettlebell squat, goblet squat if they're a really, really big beginner. We could go belt squat if they can't have axial loading on their spine. Could be a front squat, could be a safety bar squat, right? We can adjust this to the person and what makes the most sense, okay? From there, we're gonna do some type of pull. Now, majority of the time, we're gonna do way more horizontal pulling than vertical pulling, right? Doesn't mean we're not gonna add some vertical pulling, but majority, like at least two to one, we're gonna do horizontal pulling. So, and remember, most people we're gonna see, they come in here, uh, I would say kind of rounded, computer work, postures like that. So doing more lats, a lot of times can just pull them more into this position. So we're gonna do a lot more upper back work and then horizontal rowing here. So this, so for instance, we might have, let's say this is a, a beginner, beginner, we're gonna do uh, a goblet squat here, followed by a TRX roll with a pause, okay? 
From there, hip hinge, single leg or symmetrical, right? It, it could be single leg or symmetrical. Somebody who's really, really new, we're probably gonna go you know, with two legs at first before we get them on single leg. Uh, just get those movement patterns down and uh, some type of push. Again, we're gonna do more, I would say horizontal pushing than we do overhead. And we, we try to match, so if we do any type of bench press, so dumbbell bench press, we're usually gonna also have some type of push up in there as well, right? So closed chain, open chain movements. And as you see, like this is two to four reps, 10 to 12 reps. Uh, again, somebody that's a real beginner, we might just do two reps to start off with in that 10 to 12 rep range. Now this is phase one, and this is what I'm gonna explain it. So as we go, if we went into phase two and we're using this template, now in phase two, we may go in a six to eight rep range. Oops, right? So we're gonna bump up the intensity. And in phase three, we may go into 12 to 15, right? Which is, we're just undulating it, right? Changing those rep ranges for adaptation, and we've changed the exercises too. But now you can see like there's, we got speed power, we got a couple core exercises, we got four main strength exercises, and then at the end we'd have intervals. And then at first phase, day one on, on phase eight, five to 10, 15 seconds of work, 45 seconds of rest. Again, why five to 10? Because people come in at different fitness levels, and this is, like I said, why you have templates. Because remember, a lot of times if you have a client, you want to make sure, like if they like an exercise, if they really enjoy doing something, um, you have leeway to like change some things. And for, for me, a lot of times I call it the 80-20 rule, like 80% 80, 80 of the stuff is locked in, 20% can change on a fly and variable. And like for instance, people like kettlebell complex says, great, we're going to do that at the end as conditioning. They want to do extra arm work. Okay, great, we're going to plug that in at the end. Right? But, it, but still, the template allows you to work fast, do it the right way, customize, and still kind of uh, leave it open for, I would say, that, that customization fun. Okay? B, we got similar, so now we're going to go, we're still going to do speed power stuff always. We're going to do now anti extension, anti lateral flexion. So for maybe that could be a single arm farmer's walk. Again, some type of side plank variation. Right, there's a, a number of different things that we can do here. Anti-extension could be TRX fallouts, Swiss fall fallouts, rollouts. If somebody's a little bit, uh, a little stronger on that, and then from there we're gonna go hip hinge symmetrical, push, squat single leg or symmetrical, and then pull. Again, this is usually like you know we're definitely gonna do some type of lunge movement here, okay? And again, this would you know uh, uh, eventually want to be some type of single leg. RDL supported anterior lunge, something that loads the hips up a little bit more. And our intervals here are gonna be 30 seconds on, 60 seconds off, right? So we're changing that interval time um, on that beat. But like I said, we're covering all the bases here. Now again, you, this is the point here, right? Even for your own programming, I do it a lot of times where, especially when I'm crazy busy, there's so many things going on, I, I gotta get my training in, I'm writing my programs, I go off of a template, right? And I plug things into the template and I work it. Right, because I don't have to think as much, but the results, like I said, come because I am uh, adjusting it to something that I know has been proven and that works. Right, so one, steal this template if you want to. Like I said, Fat Loss General Fitness, this is beginner. We could, make, we could make this more advanced just by, like I said, advancing the exercises and volume here a little bit. But uh, again, it's also that to make sure that you can make your own templates for when you have, for instance, Fat Loss General Fitness, uh, athlete, muscle building okay because it'll make you work faster and if you have a team then it's going to trickle down because you teach the team and now they work faster cuts their time down They're, so you're writing better programs and you're writing them faster right it's a double whammy so making sure like i said you plug this in use it make sure you make your own templates and i'll see you in the next episode of coach's corner coach look out peace